What's up, guys? Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this marketing tutorial, we're talking about one simple strategy you can start using in your sales meetings to close more bookings. So this simple strategy is really gonna help you when it comes to your client meetings and comes to getting people to actually book with you. You're gonna wanna stay tuned, take some notes, grab some snacks. Let's hit that intro and get into it. All right, guys, so inside of this tutorial, we're talking about something really, really powerful. When you start applying it to your marketing and to your client meetings in particular, it's going to majorly improve the ratio of bookings that you get. Now, what is this little simple strategy? It's called the rule of reciprocity. Now, I wanna start with a little story for you, okay? Dennis Reagan in 1973 did this little science experiment. He got people to come in and rate art. So they'd go into a room, They'd look at a bunch of paintings on the wall and they would rate the art. Now, he actually posed as one of the study participants bes beside the person who was rating the art, right? So they'd both be rating these paintings and they're just talking, they're having a good time. At a certain point, Dennis would actually excuse himself from the experiment. He'd go and he'd get a Coke and he'd come back and he'd have a Coke for himself and he'd have a Coke for the person next to him. And he'd say, hey, they said I could get a Coke. I figured I'd get you one too. And so he'd give that person the beverage, right? So that person, go on, they're rating the paintings, whatever. At the end of the night, Dennis Reagan would actually ask them a question. He'd say, hey, just wondering, I'm actually fundraising for this raffle. You have a chance to win 50 bucks. The more tickets I sell, the better the prize for me. So would you consider buying some raffle tickets? And the person he found would buy twice as many tickets if he bought them a soda as if he didn't buy them a soda. Now, this is kind of interesting, right? Because you think, okay, well, maybe it's just because he gave them the soda and they actually liked him more because of that, you know, made a better first impression. They like him, so they're going to do him a favor, right? Well, it turns out that he actually took a survey of these people he was doing the soda experiment with, and he found that whether or not they liked him and rated him as a person that they enjoyed being around had nothing to do with how many tickets they bought. It had everything to do with whether or not he gave them that favor first. He bought them the soda. And because he had already done something for them in advance, they felt more compelled to do him a favor in return. So that's what the rule of reciprocity is. Now, how can we actually talk about this and apply it to our marketing? I want you to think about your client meetings and your pitches. What kind of value, what kind of gift, what kind of service can you do for your clients in advance that's actually going to kind of prime the pump for them to want to do something for you in return? So for example, if you um, are sitting your clients down and you have an, a studio where they actually come to meet with you, you could actually start by offering them a beverage, obviously. Like that's a little thing that would do something when it comes to actually creating that reciprocity. The more reciprocity you create, the more goodwill, the more likely you're going to get that booking. And this truly, truly does work. Here's another example. When I started out in photography, and actually to this day, I offered a free engagement shoot for my clients. So the whole rule was I would sit down, I'd get to talking with them on the phone, whatever, and I'd say, hey, honestly, meeting in an office is kind of stuffy and I don't really like it. What I like to do is give you guys the chance to actually work with me. So I'm going to give you guys a free engagement shoot. The way it works, we'll, we'll meet up, we'll do kind of a short little session. You can have the chance to work with me, get to know me, see if the vibe is right between both of us. And if you decide to book, I'm actually going to credit that entire engagement shoot towards your wedding. And so people would come, they do this free engagement shoot with me, I'd get to know them, it'd be really great. And at the end of the day, most of the time, they would book with me. Now, how successful was this for me? Did I wind up giving away a bunch of free photo shoots? Actually, no, I didn't. The only time this has ever not led to a booking, it was just once. And the only time I kind of didn't prerequisite that couple well enough. I didn't actually certify that they would be able to book me in the first place. Turned out I was way outside of their price range. And so even though I did that engagement shoot and they enjoyed working with me at the end of the day, it just wasn't a fit. And that's fine because at the end of the day, the number of free shoots I've given away, which is one, is very worth my time when it comes to booking every single wedding. Okay, so how can you apply the rule of reciprocity in your business? You can start by doing something like that, by offering beverages or whatever when you're meeting. If you're doing online meetings, doing something by Skype or by Zoom, what you could possibly do is give them a booklet, right? Something as simple as going and if you're a wedding photographer saying, hey, so if you haven't booked your venue yet, I actually have this booklet full of all the venues in the area and it kind of has a brief description and some pictures of each. That'll take some time to put together at first, but then you can use it over and over and over again for your clients. Now, if you're not a wedding photographer or most of the time they have a venue booked already, you could consider partnering with others to provide them some value. So what I mean by that is think about the vendors in your town that your clients are already using. So maybe you do a lot of couple shoots. Obviously, you could team up with local restaurants and say, hey, if I send you guys clients, would you be willing to give them a discount? So 
would you give me a $10 coupon that I could give to them? And then they could go to your restaurant and eat out, right? Or if you're a wedding photographer, this is maybe easier because you can contact wedding planners, contact cake makers, contact whatever, all of these different vendors and say, hey, I want to give my clients your service. What can you give me kind of as just a reward for them to point you to point them in your direction. So that's one thing you could do to provide some value. Another idea that you could possibly do is actually just provide value during the meeting. So say, hey, what kind of questions do you have? Like, let's forget about photography for a moment, but what are you trying to do when it comes to planning your event, right? How can I walk through that timeline and actually provide my insight and my expertise? Because at the end of the day, they haven't actually had a wedding before most of the time. And this event that they're doing, they have far less experience with than I do because I've been to a ton. So how can I provide some value up front just by being that person to give them some advice? So different ways of doing it. The key thing here is the rule of reciprocity. How can you do them a favor in advance without them asking anything of you and kind of prime the pump for them to respond in like kind, right? So when it comes to actually asking for a favor in return, aka they're going to book with you and not somebody else, you've already kind of given them lots of value up front. So what can you do? Take out a piece of paper and start brainstorming. How can you actually provide as much value up front for free as possible? Because once you do that, people will be so much more inclined to book with you because if you gave them that much for free, how much more are they going to get when they actually pay for your services? So just a quick little thought, the rule of reciprocity, you can look it up. It's Dennis Reagan. It's a study from 1973. Um, there was actually a really interesting follow-up study by uh, Philip Kunz, and he did a Christmas card study. He went out, he sent a bunch of Christmas cards to random people he'd never met. And what's really interesting is a huge number of the people who received the Christmas cards wrote him Christmas cards back. So even though they didn't know him, they would send him a Christmas card in return. And what's really funny is like 70% of those Christmas cards, they didn't even ask him who he was or why he was writing them. They just automatically kind of responded with a Christmas card. <laughs> so it just shows you how powerful this is. Even if you don't have a connection with somebody, even if they don't like you, just by doing them a favor, you elicit that favor in return. It's kind of this inbuilt human response, a little bit of science stuff that you can apply to your marketing, hopefully to get you some more bookings. So if this was helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button, leave a comment below. How can you apply this to your business? Let's have a conversation share some ideas with each other. If you want more content like this, subscribe, check out some free presets. I don't care. Let's have some fun, create something awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.